Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate the, the lighting that I'm going to use on the 1361 and uh, demonstrate the new selector switch that I made up this week that's uh, soon to be a new Mercer locomotive product. I uh, always wanted to make one of these. Um, in the past I've been uh, using toggle switches on the tender, they get full of dust. I put them on the locomotive, I don't like the way that looks. Um, on locomotives in, in, back in the day, they had a, a, a selector switch, it, similar to what I have here. It did various things, dim the light, change, put the backup light on, and I wanted to make something that looked like that. Uh, this is a representation of the locomotive, the tender engine here and the tender here and all the various lights, the exact bulbs that I'm going to be using on the 1361. Uh, headlight, marker lights, cab lights, these two, on-off switch, rear markers, and the rear backup light. Uh, these two large ones are going to be used for some air gauges that I have on the locomotive. These are duplex gauges, they have two needles, and I have two of these, and they're illuminated gauges, and they're right down on the tender. You look straight down, you can see them. And they need to be illuminated as well as the cab lights. So uh, the battery is a 12 volt, 7 amp hour sealed battery. It's used in the radio control industry for the, they have starter motors to start the uh, engines. And that's uh, what they're used for. They're about 19, 20 bucks, maybe $25 with the shipping from Tower Hobby, someplace like that. Uh, this one is a Hangar 9, which is another company in Colorado someplace. Right now it's showing 12.08 volts, a little over 12 volts. But I have four hours of use on this battery. I have these illuminated, these lights illuminated for four hours. So it only dropped from the start. Uh, I started out with 12.5, so that's 12 and a half volts. And after one hour, it dropped to 12.25, which is a quarter of a volt. After two hours, it, it, let's say that way, after one hour, is 12.25. After two hours, it was 12 volts, 12.1, so 12 volts. And after four hours, it dropped to 11.75 volts. So it didn't drop very much. And um, that's four hours of running at night. More than I want to run. Uh, there's plenty of time. So what you do when you turn it on, you turn the main switch, you power it up, cab lights come on. The cab lights are hot. They're on all the time. You always need the cab lights. Then that also powers my selector switch. It's hot now. So now I can route the electric to wherever I want it to go. So the first switch off to the right sets up all the markers and of course the cab light. So we have right now two, four, six, eight bulbs going. And um, you'd be sitting on a, on a siding or the track someplace in the yards and all the markers would be on front and rear. Now my markers on the Pensy, the front markers were red so that would be okay. But on a prototype, on another prototype like, um, I don't know, uh, Illinois Central, some other railroad, they probably had Pio National marker lights up there, and they were they were used for classification lamps. They were really used for uh, white was section section, and green was uh, extra. Or is it the right other way around? I'm not sure, but they were white and green. They had a flip lens inside to change them from white to green. Some of these guys they put the green lenses and the white lenses. That's not really true. That's not really the way they work. Anyway, that's another story. So the first notch off to the right puts all the marker lights on and the next light, next switch would be the headlight, of course the cab lights again and the rear markers. Now we can go on down the railroad and run. And uh, this is what I had on for four hours and it only dropped, uh, well, three quarters of a volt. After four hours it only dropped three quarters of a volt. Now these are 14 volt bulbs, all of these bulbs are 14.49 bulbs. And I like that because then they can't burn out. You say, oh, well, you can change the bulb. It's not that simple on the headlights and all that stuff. you got to take everything apart. So I like to make them a little bit higher in voltage so I can't burn them out or blow them out. Uh, so that's the headlight. Now back, center, off. First switch off to the left. Markers on again. 
backup light comes on, front markers, so now we can have a reverse movement. Now, with either way, either this way or this way, it's seven bulbs powered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bulbs. And it's showing right now, the meter is showing 11.72 volts after four hours of operation. So that's plenty. What I plan on doing is have the um, uh, connectors. I chose to use these um, microphone. I, 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 heard, I understand they're for use for CB. It's got four conductors. I need three plus the ground because uh, I want to ground the locomotive separately with a hard, you know, so to speak, a hard ground rather than use the drawbar. I don't want to do that. I want a positive ground if you want to call it a positive ground because there's actually negative ground here. But uh, um, So I have that and then I want to do is take one of these same plugs and this is the charger for the battery that you can get from them and it has um, just alligator clips on it right now and just clip it on plug it into the wall and it'll charge the battery and I don't know how long overnight no, no problem and um, I'm going to take these leads off and wire it into one of these plugs so I could just disconnect the engine from the tender and plug in right into the tender and then that'll charge the battery and uh, that's about it um, I just don't like having a battery on a tender a big battery and leads another car this and that with battery leads and all that stuff it just I like to have a self-sufficient self the locomotive all you know as a unit no no extra connections unfortunately I have to use the air that way but you have to make compromises so um, there you have it try to hook it up uh, soon to be available Mercer locomotive um, light uh, light switch and I also have marker lights for the rear scale markers uh, which I'll show in a while but um, they're going to be um, also available through Mercer locomotive so uh, try to power up your locomotive and uh, get out there running nights a lot of fun uh, it's neat watch especially with signals and uh, so on and uh, the glow of the firebox and all that stuff it's really neat um, and uh, you can have a lot of fun so give it a try